Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Ari with my patented build. It's somewhat old. It used to be the most meta range top laner. Now Twisted Fate is for the most part. For this build, you wanna go Trinity Rush, the Sheen proc with your W into auto is buttery smooth. Your W doesn't cancel your autos or your movement. So it's easy to get out and cream people with your autos that way. Ari also has 550 auto range, same as a Vayne or a Kai'Sa. Standard 80k auto range longer then a Callista auto range of 525 or Teemo auto range of 500. So for runes, we have Fleet for infinite health, Presence of Mind for infinite mana, Alacrity Coup de Grasse, Cosmic Biscuits with attack speed, movement speed, and scaling health. First item, like I said, it will be Trinity Force. After that, you wanna try to avoid building crit. So Trinity Bork's good, Trinity Sundered, Trinity Terminius, all good. I plan on going for a Probably Trinity Sundered this game because our team's pretty squishy. We'll see. <clears throat> we got the W start. We don't want to let Olaf get on us. You can bully down pretty much every top laner. We have more range than an AD carry with our abilities. And obviously more range than these guys. I'm holding on to my speed up to get away from him if he throws Axe. Nice. You want to try to use your W and auto together because your W will focus whatever you're autoing. We'll get closer, get our auto there sooner. He's playing really far back. We'll W towards him. We get off the auto. We only got him with a single W there since we did a W so early before the auto. W's pretty cheap, guys. Only 30 mana. That's why it's pretty important to start with it. It's also an execute, which is kind of nice. We should have gone for E level 2 instead. E's a little bit safer. Since we have Ghost Flash, we can kind of get away with it, though. Since uh, if it hits the fan, we can still escape. Just have to make sure we're still farming is the thing. If we're not farming, we'll just kind of lose by default. Got it. We'll W into him here in a second. Got him with that Q. He's really doing a good job preserving his health as much as possible. It's exactly what he needs to do, survive until he gets a gank. We can invade enemy jungler here. If you have lane prior and you can't kill your opponent, you might as well roam off. Don't hit the plant, don't hit the plant, thank goodness. She just warded the bush, she's on gromp. She's on gromp. We'll W into her, got her with the E auto Q. She's going to flash away, that's alright, we'll just let her go. Uh, oh, I got a flash, I'll ghost here too. We gotta kite this guy out, he's beefy. Got him with the Q auto. Nice, I have my E, I have my E, I'm on Ghost. Got, ooh, I missed the charm. I can kind of reach with an ability though. Ooh, okay, we need to get out of here. <laughs> Zin got, Zin's fed, that's actually good. Zin needs to, him having the gold on our team's fine. Akshan is half health, so he's somewhat dangerous. I have to reset, this is dangerous. It's really, really, really dangerous. I might die. Okay, thank goodness I didn't die. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go ahead and pick up tier 1 boots. <clears throat> buy a bit of our Trinity Force. Ideally, first back, you'd get tier 2 boots on Swifties. It's your best boot purchase. Nasus withers you. You're fine. You're getting ganked. You're fine. Olaf hits you with the axe slow. You're fine. He doesn't have boots, though, so we're good to go. We'll just head back to lane. Max W first, E second. We're up CS and Zin's fed. Zin just needs to power farm into gank and we're good to go. Only way we lose is if Zin just stops farming. And just runs to random lanes to gank. I mean, he has team at, so he really does need a full clear gank here. We get him with a W auto. He tries to pick up the axe. We get him with an E auto Q. Our W does execute low health minions. Very good for that. Whew, man, my minions are good at last hitting. A lot of melee champions rely on Ghost Flash to run you down. So if you have Ghost Flash as well, they lose their edge. Like It's generally really immobile tops that'll do it, like Olaf or Darius. So the fact that we have mobility on our W speed up, and now all of a sudden we have the fast sums as well, it puts them in a in a tricky spot. I'll come over there for that, I guess. I'm coming. I'm gonna be late. 
Oh yeah, Zin's dead. That sucks. I had my wave in a really good spot. It's an awkward time for grubs. We just need his in to full clear. He didn't want to. It's 24 CS, nearly six minutes in. Now Olaf has a double buff. That is unfortunate. So we had the wave in a basically a perma freeze. He wasn't going to be able to play the lane for a while. Got it. We'll go ahead and W into him. I'm losing all, I'm missing all my health now. I'm just tanking his minions all day. That is something dangerous about your teammates getting the gold is if they don't do a lot with it or if they just stop farming, then it's almost as if they never even got the gold. Auto Q auto. Dodge that out. Go to him with the W auto E. Miss it. Miss that as well. <clears throat> We're tanking a lot of damage here. We'll fleet heal off of that. If you're getting. <clears throat> Yo, Olaf doesn't have boots yet. Nice. And he gets the shutdown on Auction. Olaf is somewhat gankable. I can feel it. Got it, yeah, hit him with that Q. We're getting mana back through Presence of Mind as well. There's my fleet auto. Got him with that Q. I knew he was gonna throw Axe as I went in the last hit there. Got him with another auto. I'm gonna grab this wave. I mean, I don't think it's warded, but who knows? He might have just resets the thing. You never know. Kind of have to give up grubs. I don't have the HP. It's a good chance he did actually back. Nice thing about Ari, she can actually kind of push the wave unlike a vein. Oh, it's on a cannon wave here. That's bad. Guess it is what it is. I have to reset one way or another. I started pushing at a weird time there. We'll pick up our tier twos when we can get our sheen as well. It's a huge, 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 huge purchase for us. We'll W back in the lane. Olaf's likely to push just doing Olaf stuff. Oh, he has team at. Yeah, he can't freeze. Good luck, buddy. Wow, Nami finished the kill. This is a lot of minions, though. It's a whole lot of minions. Olaf, no boots. I have tier twos. I could try to bait it, I guess. It's kind of going a weird way there. I feel like this guy knows something's up. Yeah, whatever. I'll just bait it. Got him with an auto. We'll go ahead and auto R out of that. I'm on a ghost. Auto E. Auto Q. We're on top of him now. Get with the auto R auto W auto R auto. Nice. We get the R. Oh. We might actually be able to do this here. I sped up into him. Auto EQ. Auto. Auto W auto. That's nice. We got a lot of damage on the Sheen Swifties. We could run him down, land the charm at closer range. Is Talia really coming back? That's insane if she does. Wow, I'm missing a lot of CS there. And got it. I don't know if he still has sums or not. I don't remember if he used them. I guess I could stay with just kind of fleet speed up. 
fleet heal, fleet speed up. I have my W. I can thin out wave with Q, slow it down. I mean, we're, we're clearing so much distance with our W that we're getting our fleet back up really, really, really fast. Ah, oh, missed it. He's playing super slow. Fleet heal off this minion. It's not a whole lot off minions. It's practically nothing. He's wasting a lot of mana trying to interact with us. I'll back on full trinity. Or if I'm forced to back sooner, that's fine. Give us an auto W. That's a sheen proc. Oops, I accidentally autoed early there. W and two, I want the fleet proc. Missed another minion off of it. That sucks. Ah, nice try, buddy. W auto for it. Couldn't quite get it. That sucks. Really wanted that fleet. Got it. That's really, really good. To apply a sheen. I'm going to W into him. Got R on. I don't want to face check it, though. Auto R, W, auto Q, auto. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, R is so good against these type of top lanes. These melees with no real way to interact with you. We can play it as slow as we want, and we can survive the ganks. They can't survive the ganks. We can always follow it up with ourselves, speed up in our R spam. Could use my W here to get Sheen proc. Just make sure you try moving in between autos for fleet hill grubs are coming up soon i'll just leave it's two bot one mid i can start my recall here my minions should catch i'm sitting on full trinities so if i'm gonna back now it's kind of the time i am on my way come grubs nom if I mean, we, we should do grubs with the Nami. Nami, they're behind anyways. If they go back bot, there's a good chance they die 2v2 anyways. Something a lot of support players don't get is they get tethered to their AD carry, even in a losing lane. Instead of playing around their better teammates, we'll ghost for this. I'll charm on the Zen knockup ideally. Charm and back into it. W auto. Got it. That's huge. Poor Olaf, man. He can't survive these ganks. <laughs> we have too much damage. They'll be back over here. Get this way pushing. Auto Q auto. Yeah, our W base damage. Ooh, chunks. Auto W auto. I want that Sheen proc. Auto Q auto. Q's pretty cheap, but W's cheapest by far. Auto Q auto. Can I get this plate in time? Auto E auto. Auto W auto. Ah, I actually can't get it in time. That sucks. Whatever. I still got the turret. <clears throat> he doesn't necessarily know I'm here. I don't want to go in early. I'm going to R, W, auto. Still have my other R. R, auto, auto. W, auto, R, auto. I'm going to hold on to my other stuff until I need it. Because it, if he has flash or something, I don't want to throw out a skill shot and him flash it when I can just auto attack and it guaranteed lands. That, that's the thing. I, I really used to think Vayne was the best top lane in the game, but she can't push waves if she wants to. Sin's pretty fat here. I don't like this play though. We need to just leave. We're both sitting on gold. It makes no sense to die on this hill. <clears throat> We're already ahead. We don't have to coin flip an interaction like that. And he's not rotating either. So it's a 2v2. Olaf's going to show up. We haven't spent our gold. From here, you can go Sundered if you have to be more frontline heavy. If they have a big HP tank, you need to shred like a Zach Cho'Gath. You go Bork. Uh, so yeah, we'll go Sunder so we can be more frontline heavy. Static shift sucks. Don't build static shift. It's so pointless. You can already shove waves with your QW and R. Not like don't use your R to push wave unless you're already having to use it and you're using your extensions to push wave with. 
Don't just randomly use your R to shove a minion away. <laughs> That'd be really bad to put it on cooldown for that. I mean, just gonna like flash him down or whatever. I'll let Zen do his thing. W into him. Got with the EQ auto R. I get R extensions. W auto R. Auto R. Auto R. W flash. Uh, I'm, this is bad. Good thing I'm on ghost. Olaf hurts. We need someone to hit him. Please do something. This bot lane's. Ooh. She autoed one time. One time. Cost me a lot of sums. I mean, it was not a great trade. I don't. Did Zin ever spend his gold before that fight? I don't know. This may not be awarded. I'm going to wait right here just in case it is. Aw, oh, Annie, what are you doing, buddy? And we're showing ourselves for no reason. She's going to get herself killed. She doesn't have vision of the bush. We're doing blue instead of drag. All right, at least I'll get a blue here. I want a fleet heal off of it. Wait, I actually didn't get a blue? I guess two dragons haven't been taken yet. This makes no sense. Auction's top and we're not taking drag right now. <clears throat> All right, we get drag, that's good. I'll see if they're flanking us. I'm confused, why are they flanking us? I'm gonna W R R E Q. I'm gonna harass this guy. I have two R's still. He doesn't have Q spam either. I still have an R I'm gonna hold on to. Auto Q auto. Well played to the enemies. They're trying to slow us down while Auction takes turret. They're, they have to realize they're still behind. Auction is gonna get a full turret for that. Uh. I guess I'll just sell the D-Blade. As much as I hate to do it, I don't really need it at this point. From here, we don't want to build crit, but we do want to build some, anything that gives us attack damage or on hit. Kraken's the closest thing to a crit item that we'll build. Gone with an auto W. Auto W auto. He's only one item, I'm two, so we win this easy. There you go, buddy. Sit on that one. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All he has is crack, and we have Trinity plus Sunder. Even if Nami's not there, and we're both full health, we'll kill him and only lose about half health at most. We'll space out our Q between our Ws to get the Sheen proc from Trinity. Since we're mainly using E for big situations, E's a longer cooldown, and enemies are looking for you to burn that. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff on the map right now. We really shouldn't be mid though. It's so far pushed. Ash can have it. I don't care. If I got to feed her stuff like you feed a dog of some scraps off your plate, so be it. Might as well grab red so I can get a reds and has a red. Nice. Oh, Ash stayed. Died to Olaf 2v1. Ash Nami. My goodness. RWEQ. I'm going to get R extensions. Oof. Maybe not. Well, maybe. Got it. Get another R extension into an E. W past that. And auto her down. I died. I, I just spawned in their whole team there, too. That sucks. It took me too long to kill Talia. She did a tremendous amount of damage, and there's a sticker in my sock poking me. Outrageous. That's why you never, 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 never walk around without shoes on. You get weird stuff in your socks. Oh, dude, I actually broke my toenail. Holy crap. 
I thought I might have. It didn't hurt when it happened, but it looks gnarly. From here, Bork's good. Holebreaker's good. Terminus is good. As much as I hate building on hit on a champion, or not on hit, but as much as I hate building crit on a champion that none of their abilities crit, Kraken's good here. I'm autoing a lot. Draxels are win con for sure. I just gave them like a thousand gold for dying, I think. That was my first death. I don't see it. If I did give him a big shot down, I'm assuming I did. Not seeing it in the kill feed. Morgana is dead. Oh, they know I'm here. All right. We can just go kill Olaf real quick. Zing might even be able to solo him, even though Olaf's Olaf. Zing kites him out, times out his R a bit. Why are we not going for Olaf? All right, that works. That works. Olaf might keep pushing. He's crazy. I'd rather not give up drag. I think we can take this in 20 seconds. Should I tank this over Zen? I don't know. It's hard to say. And he's resetting instead of stalling drag. That sucks. Our teams, we're not like as a team, we're not really playing that close together. Everyone's kind of doing their own thing. Nami wasn't even over here. While well, Annie split pushes bot lane. Uh, this might be a big play. I'm not sure if they're on it. Oh, they're not. I'm going to R over. I'm going to R away. Keep R and away. Oof. He actually got me. Well played to him. He's not dying either. Well, that's got some crazy damage. Well played to my team there. Well, I did a really good job holding on to Axe. I needed to stop trying to predict and start to react. At least we get drag. Something we can get to speed ourselves up would be something like Phantom Dancer. For now, I think we really should finish our Kraken Slayer. Renan's isn't horrible. It's an okay item. After Kraken, could go Bork. We could go Trinity. Like Trinity Runons. That would be okay, specifically against their comp. Kite out a lot of the Morgue damage, a lot of their skill shot damage. I haven't gotten CS in a while. I haven't really been farming. Olaf's doing weird junk. He's doing split push nonsense. We can kill him. I mean, if his ghost is on cooldown, he really has no way to close distance. But if he ghosts, it kind of forces out all my stuff. His ghost allows him to kind of get pressure through autos. He's dead. Auto E. We can force the R here from him. If he doesn't, I mean, he's just going to get taunted back. Down he goes. Uh, Caitlyn's on the bot. These guys are actually split pushing like crazy. This is weird. I actually feel like we're losing right now because we're just not really controlling the waves. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, Akshan went the wrong way. Oh, wow. Akshan messed up there big time. 
Nice. I get the charm. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I actually didn't get an assist on that. Dang. My R's on cooldown as well. I can't stay for that. Nami almost just died. Yeah, we just need to leave. This is a bad situation. I wouldn't say we're necessarily falling off, but a big part of what's happening is they have so many strong ranged characters that can threaten us. The only melee they have is Olaf, so we can dance around him, kite him out, bait him, like force kills on him, but against the other people, they can fight back, so I can't just like lead in super deep with my R on my own and expect to get a lot done, because they can all just turn and auto me, essentially. I am three items. Caitlyn's two and a half, auctions two and partials. Hmm. We gotta get over here. Nami's about to die. She needs to not juke and just run. He's gonna be on the grub or on the gromp. This is a dumb chase. I don't know where Zin's going. He's just kind of going. I know Olaf's going to be here. Oh, well, he's not. <clears throat> I'm surprised. His best move was to stay. They're just they're trying to split and slow this game down. It's the right move for them since they're losing so hard. Going W in. He's going to get away. He ran the other way. He's, yeah, I think he already knew we were here, to be honest. Uh, we shouldn't do Baron. We should do Drag first. <clears throat> we need Heal Cut for Olaf. I could build it, potentially. But, like, bottom line is we need it. He's healing too much. An RW Auto EQ. Hit the turret as much as I can. No one else seems to be hitting it whatsoever. <laughs> it's not even half health. Drag, drag, drag. We don't need to fight here. Auto QE. Alright. Auto Q. Nice. They got wrapped up hard there. Zin, I think Zin ghosted too. It means Zin both ghosted. Should be GG's. They really don't want to FF. We have triple range. That's hard for Olaf to play into. I don't think he's going to be able to scout too well because of that. We just do drag after this turret and inhib. Ooh, I got the charm on Morg. Oh, nice. Ash got some autos. Olaf is dialed in. He can't lose. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Olaf's in the zone for sure. She looks like she pinned herself with her own wall. I missed my charm. That's sad. Expected her to react, she kind of just pretend like I wasn't there. <laughs> it says never mind, that's funny. Drag Soul is our win condition, we need to just keep getting them. The drag as fast as we can so we can get Drag Soul sooner. We're still far from full build, anyone really, to where we're not going to fall off with gold advantage. I will build Hill Cut because no one else on my team seems to want to do that. Normally, you wouldn't want to build AP on this type of RA build. Oblivion Orb is really strong, though, for applying heal cut. Since my team forgot that Olaf is a big self-healer. <laughs> Nobody wants to build it. I could go Terminus here. Could go for Bork. Could go Rageblade, honestly. I wouldn't mind having a Bork. Bork, auto Bork autos hit really, really hard. Or it could just... Oh, we should probably just go Infinity, honestly. We already have a little bit of crit. Mm, 
Yeah, we could just take Baron Shove Bot. That's probably the move here. Get triple in, hit pump in, Olaf on the split. He's gonna get kited out. He has to have Flash and Ghost. Yep, he didn't have both. I'm not doing a whole lot of damage in particular right now. Nice. We should just go bot. We don't even need to go top mid. We need to get to our bot lane before uh, the enemies do. I'm only pushing this since I'm already here, and then I'll head over down over there. Go ahead and ghost. Use my R, W speed up. Auto E auto. Ugh. I almost died there. I was getting hit by Oxon and Caitlyn there for a brief moment. I really hurt. We need a leaf. We need a leaf. This is a bad fight. I lost too much health. Yeah, whatever. I'll go Trini. I, I don't like building crit for Ari, but at this stage in the game, it's so late into the game that Pork feels kind of weird. You know, Olaf's the only one who has a lot of HP. So now we're at 380. Your engine AD is pretty good because we have 20% create a lot of attack speed. Two attack speed items plus uh, alacrity and attack speed rune. So if we get one or two lucky crits when we go in, it's going to feel like we're a proper AD carry. Oops, that hurts. Octon R does nothing if you're a high health. It's an execute. Wow, this Caitlyn's ballsy for doing that. All R for it. Auto R auto. Hmm, I'm getting hit by nonsense. I didn't get an assist on that one. Caitlyn's full health. We'll just stay with the turret here. Two of them are dead. We have the waves coming in with Baron buff SGGs. Two super waves crashing. Time to go win, says Caitlyn. She's not wrong. Now or never. Flash E auto Q. We have supers to tank. We can kill. We can kill. We can kill. Oh, no one else wanted to dive. Yeah, if your minions are in the fountain, the fountain won't hit you even if you're hitting the enemy champs. Let's take a look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. We'll probably be top three damage dealt. Damage dealt against enemy champions. We were top three. Pretty happy with that. With how many assists we had. For damage taken. We were upper middle of the pack. Top three again. And for self mitigated. We are up there too. And for runes high value. All in all. Ari top does feel good. It starts to feel a lot more supporty. And semi team reliant in team fights. To get your R resets. But it does still feel really good. Super stable. Solid pick. If you guys enjoyed this Ari video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what champion you want to see next. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time.